How you doing everybody? This is Daniel from H2 Reviews and right now we're gonna have a review that's a little bit late. I did this uh, later because I was waiting for my Capricorn Shura to actually get here. So this package wouldn't come uh, like like advanced with other stuff. So yeah, but we're finally gonna get to review it. So uh, this package is a Thomas Nation exclusive. So right now we're gonna review the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth. And this is June Chameleon. Chameleon June, um, it's one of those figures that really didn't get a lot of uh, video time in the series and it's pretty big and important for the background but it's not really emphasized on the Saint Seiya series even though we are do getting new actual figures for the line uh, this figure is not one that would like hardcore required but it's still nice to have another female saint in the rank so here we have the box itself we have a nice box and then we have June of Chameleon right there and then we have the object mold which is a very very nice uh, kind of like tree branch with a chameleon on top of it really really nice on the side of the box we can see it says uh, chameleon cloth and then same cloth myth and then the object mode in the middle if we go to the back we actually could see some action poses of the figure we have a uh, June doing with her whip and then we have faces and we have the object mode and the nice classic black and white photo right there that's about it for the box I mean it's not open in the book like this is a Thomas Nation exclusive if you want to go to the bottom you have nice uh, warning signs and everything like that you know exclusives don't have like a lot of stickers in them so yeah that's about it for the figure well for the box itself let's go uh, open and see the busters inside so here we have buster number one as you could see we have the figure itself we have the actual armor chest plates waist everything this figure needs I mean this figure does not need a lot because uh, this figure it's a feminine figure so it has a lot of different things even though a lot, this feminine figure does have a lot of accessories so yeah we have the chest we have arms we have waist we have helmets Everything you need for this figure, we got it right here. So this is Buster number one. Let's go with Buster number two. Here we have Buster number two, and we have the object mode. We have the whips, and we have different faces, the mask faces, and then we have the actual figure faces, and then a replacement chest, you know, as uh, this women, they make them with a little bit big size uh, breasts. So you have to switch the breastplate for you could actually put the armor on it. So yeah, that's the basic logic of that and then you have the uh, different kinds of hands so what I did see is that the hands are already colored so they're already colored and you could put uh, the actual plates that came on buster number one really quick on it I didn't see no other regular hands so um, this this figure is fully armored to the hands so yeah that is basically it the faces are phenomenal they look fantastic but let's put this figure all together let's look at the manual and see what we got so here we have the manual of June Chameleon June or June of Chameleon I don't know how you would actually say it correctly in English but yeah here we have the manual as you can see really nice manual the same as all Thomas Nation this is a silver saint so her box is a little bit different so here we have the myth cloth logo right there Saint Seiya logo Bandai logo and Thomas Nation logo this was made in 2013 so you open the manual the manual shows you really nice color coded how you're gonna code this figure you know where everything goes and how to put it on the figure basically little things like that if you open it on the other side hopefully I get it pretty good 
here we have a profile actual June of Chameleon, you know. And then we have how to build the object mode. Really easy, but it's a very beautiful object mode, as you can see. Here's a little profile of the actual figure, you know. So they're telling you uh, she's actually 14 years old, which is kind of disturbing. She looks pretty developed for 14 years old. So yeah. So yeah, that's basically it. That is the manual. Let's build the object mode, show you some uh, actual poses of this figure, and let's go from there. So here we have Chameleon June, or June Chameleon. I have to say, um, this figure is kind of weird for me. This figure, the object mode was beautiful. It looks fantastic, but the object mode is confusing as well. It takes a long time to build, and it was a pain in the butt. Second of all, the figure is not really that stable. If you look here on this figure, on this feet I mean it's stable if you spend the time to do it okay that that's the first thing you have to say uh, this heels and stuff uh, is not really helping them uh, that's that's one thing I've seen with the with the um, uh, female Saints is that the heels are just messing this figure up and all fi all female Saints have this problem uh, the heels are kind of bad like the first time I saw like the female Saints I was very taken away, but I still had the same problem, but the other female saints didn't have a lot of weight. I think the most well-made female saint would have been uh, Thetis, Siren, uh, which is her weight was pretty well established, but this one is kind of weird, kind of finicky, and uh, all the weight here on these legs is just a pain in the butt. Like on wooden floors and stuff like that, it's pretty good. When you have something this soft, it's going to be tipping over left and right. That, that's one thing I have to say. Um, overall, the armor looks fantastic. Uh, other things I have to say about this. Um, I'm not nagging about the figure. The figure, the figure looks great. The figure has a beautiful look. The figure looks fantastic. You see the sides right here? Uh, that They look like they have like silver all over it. Well, you could take those off or you could have more flexibility. This kind of keeps the figure in place. And I opted to put it that because the figure needs stability because the waist kind of moves left and right and it kind of doesn't look great. You know, it doesn't look as nice like like this, you know. It, the, the middle part of the armor starts popping out of the V in the front and it kind of looks weird in some positions. So that, I opted out. And another problem I had is with the chest. <laughs> so... For this to be possible, you saw like little holes on the ch on the smaller chest, and then the little holes have to, these have like little rods to go into the chest, you know, into the breast of the figure, and like this breast right here didn't even want to go in, so that was pretty uh, disappointing. But I had to do like a little maneuver here and there, and I was able to put it in. So, yeah. Uh, if you look really detailed, uh, the actual breast would actually cover like the training part of the actual figure so that's another disappointing part I mean overall the figure looks 
And like you can see, there's the balance issue. So I'm trying not to move it anymore. <laughs> so, oh my god, hopefully. Um, the figure is fantastic. It has balance issues. And as you can see, I'm trying to balance it right now. And just to keep it, I'm not even going to move it anymore. <laughs> and just to keep it great, okay? The figure has great aesthetic. It looks great. The balance issues is horrible. This figure has a lot of balance issues. <laughs> so, what's the matter? What's plastic? Well, all the head, the face piece, everything is plastic. The shoulders are plastic. The, the breasts are plastic. You know, the side of the skirt is plastic. This is metal with the top part of plastic. Um, the side of the waist is plastic. All the bottom part is plastic. All this is metal. And that's about it. I mean, another nice thing this figure has, it has that this chain is kind of metalish. The other chain that she comes with it. And it looks great. It actually has some weight to it, you know. Really, really nice. And you could do a lot of stuff. But I opted to put that one. Uh... Other faces that you have, you have like the normal face, you know, well, the one that she could put without the, the little thing on the head, you know, and then you have other faces as well, like you have like the sad face, and then you have the happy face. I put, I took some pictures of them as I was going along, you know, really nice faces, but it's just a 50-50 mix right here. It looks fantastic. It looks great when it's balancing correctly. <laughs> balancing issues. I've been going left and right, and it's uh, it's getting painful. You know, it, it, I'm not gonna lie to you. It's one of those uh, frustrating female saints. After I've been cleaning the other female saints as well, like uh, Shaina and Marin. You know, the other one that hasn't given me a lot of trouble is Thetis Siren. You know. But the other ones are being giving me a pain in the butt. They have to be like reclined on the back of my display for them not to fall off. And probably this figure is going to go there as well. So yeah, I mean, it's a good figure. It's going to go look good with your collection. But just keep, keep in mind that that is not the most stable figure in the world. So let's go with my final thoughts. So here we have my final thoughts of the Saint Seiya Myth Cloth. And this is... Chameleon June or June Chameleon and I have to say this figure oh it's it's painful this figure looks beautiful in every little way but this figure sucks the engineering sucks I mean this figure is gonna go back with my female saints in the back of the wall to get some support because it's gonna keep falling and I know it will and it hasn't Disappointed me in this little bit that it has kept falling every time I try to move this little display I even was very lucky to keep it rotating for that uh, little uh, display. I, it took me forever to do that and There's been a problem with the female saints. I mean the only female saints that has been doing justice is with Thetis uh, Siren Thetis and that one because it has a wider view and uh, and the feet is actually wider You know it has more balance the other ones, um, even because of the hype and everything, that I didn't mention it, but their heels are very small and finicky. It is going to take you a while to balance all the female figures. That would be uh, Shaina, uh, Marin, and now uh, June. And I mean, this figure is going to go back up the collection. That, that's, it's sad to say, but it will. Just to keep, keep it from tilting over and messing up. Because this figure is $80, $90 straight up the bat, and it's a... And it's a Oh, it's sad, but it's a, it's a limited edition, and I thought Bandai would have the decency to recover their actual mistakes with the heels, make it a little bit wider, or actually give you something for balance, and it has not. So it's kind of disappointing. I mean, the the figure is beautiful. It's something that, I mean, you have to see to believe it. It looks fantastic. I mean, the object look looks phenomenal as well. Just the object mode has just that... The actual object mode, everything is everywhere. I mean, there's little pieces here and there, and it's, it's meticulously annoying. Okay, it's you have to put stuff here and there, and when you're done, you you. I mean, it was a relief. I'm like, oh my god, I'm done with the object mode. Never have to do this again. Okay, but when I was taking the pictures, it looks beautiful. But when I'm actually putting it all back together and then putting the figure together, now seeing the balance issues, that was disappointing as well. So I mean. 
figure aesthetic wise I'm giving it a 10 figure itself actual our engineering actual figure I'm giving it a 7 even going down to a 6 it's very disappointing that you're paying for a limited edition and it has so many problems you know and like with the breast as well that they didn't want to fit you know and I had to do some a little bit of adjustments and cutting with a knife you know to actually get that to fit it's kind of disappointing this shouldn't have happened there's a limited edition you know but yeah a seven or six engineering aesthetic wise I totally recommend it aesthetic wise if you don't care about balancing if you're just gonna keep it in a box if you're just gonna have it in one position and never touch her again I'm saying buy this right now if you're gonna do like motion pictures or or like um, you know snap action stuff like that you know little videos huh? I, I do not recommend it she will not hold your pose okay and uh, I, it always amazes me how the people that do professional shooting actually hold the poses for the figure and I mean they must have a lot of patience so you can have this at iShop to go iShop to go has this figure and even more get your figure of Kemlin June on iShop to go.com don't get me wrong I'm not telling you not to buy it what I'm telling you is you gotta have a bad time with the balance I mean I probably didn't say it before but I'm saying it right now you're gonna have a bad time with balance but uh, overall the figure is beautiful aesthetic wise you're not gonna be disappointed so this has been Daniel from H3 Reviews and I'll see you on the next Sincere Review